Did I ever tell you about my job I had when I was younger as a shoe salesman? That's right, I, I used to sell shoes in San Francisco. I, I lived up on Pine Street, and I had a, you know, I went down uh, and sold shoes during the day, and a lot of the customers that bought shoes uh, from our store were airline stewardess. And, you know, if you... If you're fitting their shoe on for them, you know, they put their shoe up on that little stand thing, and of course you raise raise their foot up a little bit in the air to, you know, put that to put the shoe on. If you look just right, you can look up their dress. It was a <laughs> it was a great job. Beautiful, slender, sexy stewardess there. And I had their foot up in the air looking down their dress, putting their shoe on. You know, and a lot of the stewardess, they would say, boy, that's sure, that's kind of expensive. Isn't, you know, that shoe's really expensive. And I'd look at them and I'd say, well, I, you know, I know how you can get a discount on it. <laughs> you know, and I'd, I'd wink at them when I said that, you know. Here, I'll do it for you again, boys and girls. I used to say, well, I know how you can get a discount on it. And they'd be up to my apartment that night. Get it. <laughs> Getting it on, baby. I gave him a discount. You know, I dipped into my commission on it. So I went without a little commission. I got a little... Well, you know, little Nicky, baby. <laughs> and then they told their friends that were airline stewardess. I had airline stewardess from Pan American, from Continental Airlines, from United Airlines, from Western Airlines. It was a, it was a, it was a, a job made in heaven. They'd come in there, you know, all their friends would come in there, gorgeous women. And they would they would almost, you know, say the exact same words, well, boy, that's kind of expensive. And i look at them and say, well, I, I know how you can get a discount on it. You know, I'd give them the magical wink and they'd be, they'd be mine, baby. They'd be up there every night. I had... I had women, women up to, to Pine Street at, you know, 6.30 and 7.30 and 8.30, 9.30, all up until about 1.30, you know, in the morning. I had to get some sleep. I couldn't have sex all night long. Yeah! I had, I had, in fact, I had to go to work to rest. But it was, it was, fa it was fabulous. All these women, and then the weekend. You know, most of them would, you know, get so excited with the sex part. Well, look at me. <laughs> What's there not to get excited about? You know, most of them would be so excited, they'd come up there for seconds and thirds and fourths on, on the weekend. There wasn't any shoes or discounts involved. It was just me. Me and them doing the nasty. <laughs> Woo! What a job. Remember one time the, the owner of the apartment on Pine Street came up to me and says, you know, I see all these, you know, beautiful, slender uh, women, you know, going into your apartment, uh, What's going on, Ron? And I say, oh, well, you know, I meet a lot of, you know, cute airline stewardess down to the shoe store. And, uh, you know, they're just kind of, a, I give them a nice uh, discount on their shoes, and they're just showing their appreciation to me. <laughs> and, and he would say, you know, I thought he was going to kick me out. But no, he says, well, is there any way that you can, you know, give me some tips on what, what you do to get so much so many women? 
and and I and I looked at them. I says, yeah, I can give you some pointers if I can get a discount on my rent. And that was it. I I not only had women up to the apartment every night, not on the weekends, all weekend long. I got a discount on my on my rent. It's 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 the magical wink that does it, you know. <laughs> Don't you get it? I had a great life. I have a great life now. I still have women call me up just to listen to my voice. You know, they might they might still be in San Francisco, but they call me up. And they and they like just listening to me say hello. You know, who wouldn't? You you're li you're listening to me right now. If you didn't like me, you turn me off. <laughs> but but you're looking at me now. You know, you women out there. You know, you're thinking, what a good looking man this Ron is. You know, I'd like to get to know him. I'd like to, you know, have a little one on one, you know, even for, for, for free. I don't need a discount on anything. I just want him. Who doesn't look at me? <laughs> now, now, look at look at yourself. Seriously, look at yourself. Go in the mirror. Look at yourself, and, and then and then look at me. <laughs> can can you see the difference, boys and girls? You'd have to be blind not to see this. <laughs> You know, I I've got a message for you. I've got some good news for you, boys and girls. Only one person out of a hundred people think of you as an asshole. But ninety-nine out of those hundred people know you're an asshole. <laughs> 